This short video walkthrough explains how to create a task tracker account at the Physics Classroom website so that you can be enrolled in your teacher's class and participate in our Concept Builders program. To begin, open a browser and type in www.physicsclassroom.com and when you do, your page will look like this. When you arrive at this page, I want you to notice in the top left corner it says My Account, and then the left side navigation column at the bottom is the word Account. Tap on either of these links, and when you do, you come to the Account page where you usually log in. But today, you're going to register as a student. So click on the button Register as Student, and this form pops up, which you soon will fill in. But before you do, let me address some privacy concerns. Our task tracker system works best if you provide us with an email address, a first name, and a last name. But some schools and states have sensitive privacy concerns that forbid students from entering identifying information at websites that are used for class purposes. If that's the case, we can easily skirt around the provision of identifying information in these first three fields of the registration form. What you will need to do is enter a fake email address and remember what it is because it happens to be your username. Make it look like an email address with an at symbol and a dot com and remember what it is. And for the first and the last name, you could use a fake name instead of your real name. You just need to communicate with your teacher exactly who you are if you enter Ellie Einstein and your name is really Jane Doe. Now, let your teacher and your school be your guide for what you do for these first three fields of the registration form. Whew, sure glad we got that out of the way. Go ahead and fill in the first three fields according to your teacher's directions. When you get to the course code field, that's a code that is unique to your teacher's class that you'll be joining. Your teacher should have given you that class code. If you don't happen to have it, then simply enter anything there. But if it's not the true code, you won't be joining your teacher's course. You'll have to do it later. Enter a secure password and do it a second time to confirm. Be sure to fill out the CAPTCHA form at the bottom of the page because we sure don't want no bots doing concept builders. Finally, click on the register button and your account has been created.